larger issue that's going to be decided at some future point by the state legislature not by me let me finish so this resolution is strictly about the economic development effort of the town which is a policy direction of this board and as one policy maker i'm asking that we don't encourage or include that in our economic development strategy marketing materials or presentations that's all i'm asking that's what this resolution is uh, john farrell for hancock drive first of all it's not included in any of our strategies second of all it's been mentioned twice both in workshops, both by citizens in town. And it was reported, as it was mentioned, by a citizen. Not by the committee, not by the planning board, but as suggested and mentioned by a citizen by what is being discussed at the state level. It is furthermore not part of our ordinances. It is illegal. I know that. I'm not an idiot. I know gambling is illegal. And very simply, it is not part of our strategy. So please stop saying that it is. Mr. O'Neill presented it at the airport. No, he didn't. Mike. No, he, he didn't. You are inaccurate. I was at that meeting. Right? It is part of a presentation of what he gave of what was said at a workshop by a citizen. He reported what a citizen said. They're allowed to say their opinion too. I'm allowed to bring this resolution forward. Go ahead. John. Well, back to that. You are allowed, but you are, you are saying to the public that you don't care what we think. How do, how do you leap to that? I leapt to that very easily. Everything you said before that, Brian said it about um, um, gambling. I read in the article a couple of people who are for it, and I'm not saying who, but I, I read the article. And that says that specified gambling. That specified gambling. So anything that you bring up under, quote, economic development, unquote, will be, will refer back to that article and will be gambling. And it's not nothing you can bring up anything you want certainly you can do it and certainly you can pass it but still you may be in a kind of a bad you could be in a kind of a bad position a if the <coughs> thing is passed in the first place b if the citizens of londonderry like it in the second place i don't know either of those i just know how things should be should be done is not that that is saying something against you uh, how things are normally done the bill has to be passed the citizens have to agree and then the council makes its decision that's how it's usually done doing it in reverse but you could put you in a bad light it could put you in a Blessed light, if everybody agrees with you. I mean, I don't have any idea. But I want to make sure that it should be done the other way. It, it should be, yeah. w with due respect to the council chairman and the council. Okay? Thank you. Um, we can certainly entertain other comments from the public, but I'm looking to discuss this up here and then if you guys want to have the public I'm certainly in favor of that as we just did so other councilor members on the resolution that I brought before you well you know I'm not I'm hearing two sides I mean I understand what Mike's trying to say as far as the economic development part of it um, so John could you come back for a second if you would Thank you. In the document that the Economic Development Task Force is giving to the Council, does it mention that as an opportunity? Okay, so let me, you know, I told Don I would defer to him, but I guess I'll read what he said in the meeting. 
and what his intent was. And then we can go into that discussion. Um, Don wrote in an email that which, which was made public and then you all received. Um, he says, it appears that the inclusion of gaming as an opportunity has caused somewhat of an eruption within the town council. When we conducted the SWOT analysis, there are no there was no thought about having a casino or any other gaming activity in Londonderry. The decisions centered around the existing gaming facilities in the state, especially Salem and the possibility of a facility being explored in Hudson. The thought was that the expanded gaming in other parts of the state could have an economic impact on Londonderry and might have other impacts on our town, potentially good and bad. Maybe the opportunity should read gaming in Salem or something to indicate the impact in Londonderry, or of gaming in other communities in New Hampshire, or it can be removed. All right? But the problem with it is, is that we don't, we don't have recorded minutes when we're in a conference room upstairs. What came through from the emails was, was asking us to take it out. What was proposed was, put in an opposing view. Say we're against gaming. Clarify the statement. Do anything. We can add anything we want to it. I just can't take stuff out. And I discussed that with the town manager. John, just I don't know if that answers your question, though. John, was, to start. Was, was that a meet? It was, was a workshop where people throw out ideas? Or was yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, basically what it was is it was just a smaller workshop, which was part of what um, Gary O'Neill did a larger workshop. Right. And 30 or 40 people saying, showed yeah, up, and they said, right. hey, here's all our ideas. Gary took them all down and said, okay, what's in and what's out? What do you think? What are people saying? And what came out of that workshop was is they said, hey, you know, we're not sure about casinos. It's not completely out. It's not completely in. And as was always clarified, it's illegal. Okay? Now, if you really look at casinos, we're, we're a bad destination. We don't really have what casinos look for. If you want to have that discussion, putting a casino underneath the airport like, who wants to come and have planes fly over their heads? That's not, that's not what the airport's looking for. That's not what we're looking for. You know, it's, it just doesn't make sense. That's but, one piece. But, John, I'm not looking for, like, an analysis of where a, a gambling casino wanted to go to. I guess where I need to get this, what I'm trying to grasp is this was just a meeting where any citizen could have attended and said, I want to start a chicken farm in London. I mean, I'm just, you know. They, they could have come in and asked for, you know, anything else that's illegal in this state. You know, I mean, they could have well, asked for. It was for just a brainstorming. Brainstorming it wasn't, session. It was not People going to threw be the out ideas. Of the town. Andre grabbed them, put them on a chart. Okay, then I'm done. You know, I just wanted to verify. It's, that it it's was just, just really workshop. that simple. I mean, it was. You know, if you look at the stuff we have, there is <coughs> no strategy to have casinos or gambling on our website. There is no go-to-market strategy around casinos or gambling. Um, as I stated before, it's come up twice. Right? We listen to what the people said um, over and over again. It's illegal. Right? We're not even considering it. It's illegal. I mean, if you look at the other pieces, and this is, you know, you try to run under, you know, and I go back to this all the time, even though we go back to the housing task force and that. You go back and you look at, you know, when I swore to do whatever it is I do here in this town, it says, I do solemnly swear I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me and according to the best of my abilities agreeability to the rules and regulations and the Constitution and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. That's what I follow. Okay? What that also tells me is, is that I have to listen to what people say and put their input in. So let me that's, ask that's how it works. Mr. Chairman? Yeah. John, you, you mentioned taking it out or, and, and whether we do that or not, that's a different discussion, but taking it out or adding an opposing view. Taking it out of what? There's, um, there's a document. All right, do you have that document um, that you can show to the council? Um, well, was that the thing that we got? Was did it you get it in your packet? Is that the SWOT analysis? That, that was the SWOT the analysis. Yeah. The email that was passing right. It was the little worksheet from the Excel spreadsheet yeah. that had the listing. Okay, I know it. I you know, at I the know. end of the day. Look, can I see? my comment on it, but you know, the. I'm just trying to refresh myself over. Yeah. Yeah. The Economic else Development the Task Force. Weeks doesn't really well, care what we put in well, there. So, well, let's go to one at a time wait, wait. here. We're losing a little bit of focus. John, just hold on a second. All right. So this, this document goes where? 
Uh, I can answer that. Sure, I can answer that. All right, so that's part of an analysis that the Southern New Hampshire Planning Commission asked Andre to participate in.